I really want to get that smoked flavour in the duck, but I don't want it to overpower the actual flavour of the duck. So I'm going to leave it under that glass Ooh. bowl for a good five minutes. Eight minutes, everybody. Eight minutes. I am definitely more under the pump in this challenge. A lot more is riding on it. Top eight, pretty huge achievement. So, yeah, the stress is definitely starting to get to us. Have you just got your meat on now? Yep, yep. Have you got your plating ideas all worked out? Yep, I've got like a soil thing. Cool. And then mix it with some raspberries and blowtorch that up. Whatever I blowtorch, that has to shine on the plate. It has to be like the statement piece. Less than 15 minutes to go. Oh, 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 no. How are we Hello, going? Good. How are we going? How are we going? Crunch point, crunch point, crunch point. We've got some crackling. lovely looking crackling there. Just leave that. Smoking. Smoking. Under there. Loin of, of yes. pork. Yep. Yep. What are the counterbalances? Kumra and apple puree, which I've got to finish now. Kumra and, and apple puree. I yeah. love the sound of that. Yeah. Are you here to stay? Yes. Yes. Good luck. Thank you. I finished my stock for my foam. Uh, it's at the taste and the flavour that I really want. Add my thickening agent and pour it into the canister. I'm making a stout gravy as well. That's just going to give a real richness to my quite rare beef. Scrollies? Yeah, I just want to try one this way, because I've never done it this way, which is the... The crisscross on top. I want that beautiful transparent in the middle of the scallop and the seared outside caramelisation. Now, the one thing about scallops that we do is we don't overcook them. They should be opaque, basically still not cooked in the yep. centre and get that nice crunch on the outside. What are you making there, Lily? Some sugar spirals. Wow. The star of the dish has to be the banana and maple mousse but I also want to give the dish some texture and some acidity. So I've pulled together all these exciting elements. I look out into the kitchen and I'm constantly seeing people putting things in their mouth, and I love that. That's yeah. what I encourage in all our kitchens. Yeah. Taste, taste, taste. Taste, watch, look. Plenty of smoke down the back with Richard. I really want to get that smoked flavour in the duck, but I don't want it to overpower the actual flavour of the duck. So I'm going to leave it under that glass Ooh. bowl for a good five minutes. Eight minutes, everybody. Eight minutes. Gemma, you all good? I think so. Yeah? Yeah. What stage you at? Just waiting on my beef to come out and finishing off the vegetables. Give yourself a little feeding. bit more time today. That's what you need to do. A little bit more time at the end. Yeah. The element of uh, brulee my cheesecake. I'm concerned that I might be too heavy-handed on the torch. Blow torch. Uh, yes. OK, That's can I give you a little nice. hint? When you keep moving it around, it, it, it's sort of cooling. So you need to keep oh, it on a certain yeah. area if, if you want this, but you want more caramel, a little bit more sugar, sugar. And then just keep the torch on yeah. it and don't move it until it starts to caramelise, OK? Thanks, Al. Yeah, a bit of handshaking. I'm kind of used to it by now, come this time of the challenge. Think about your plating right at the end. Think about the seasoning. Does everything taste how it should? I take off my meat. It's not enough time to rest. I can see it, like, leaking on the bench, and I just know that it's probably undercooked as well. But I don't have enough time to cook it again. Five minutes to go, it's gone quiet again. Isn't it Very the quiet. rhythm of the, of the kitchen, quiet. the way it goes up and down? I know. I don't really have a vision of plating, but the I feel it's going to be the hero and, and it will be the centre of the dish. Two minutes to go, thinking about ratios. Have I got too much of one thing on the plate? Have I got not enough of the other? You've only got two minutes left. So I've got a couple different plates out and I'm going to plate up a couple different ways just to make sure that I'm happy with the way that it looks. Gee whiz, I'm proud. I haven't yeah. tried anything yet, but I, what I am, I'm so proud of these, these cooks in front of us. Aren't they really pushing the limits? There's some really exciting techniques out there. Really good plating. I look at my plate, they look all right. Hopefully the taste would also taste right. So I'm plating, like, right up until the last minute, and my horseradish cream starts to go everywhere, so I'm trying to, like, wipe it off and make it not look so messy. 60 seconds, guys. Just 60 seconds. Use it wisely. 
the mousse has to be done right in front of the judges. The plate that I had in mind, a lot of the elements actually sit on or around the mousse, so this is not an ideal situation. 30 seconds to go. Oh. I know plating is the thing that's let me down in the past. So I've got my head down, I'm plating, plating, plating. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Step back from your benches, please. Well done, guys. Well done, Richie. Right, finish off your dish, please, Hayley. OK. The challenge is the canister. No time like the present. <laughs> I'm squirting, hoping that it's going to be a beautiful little foam. But instead... <laughs> interruption. So that's the beautiful splattered effect. But <laughs> um, it's worked in my favour. It looks really pretty. I think it created a beautiful little picture on the plate. I've totally planned that. <laughs> well, we're looking forward to trying it, Hayley, so can you leave us to taste, please? I sure can. Enjoy. Thank you. So, presentation sort of went everywhere. It's blowing for a reason. They don't blow without getting something wrong. What a pleasant surprise. Yeah, I think it's really nice. The scallops are beautifully cooked. Mm. The spinach and wasabi, you get a lovely taste of wasabi. The caramelised onions and the other crispy bits that are on top are really gorgeous. The scallops, you can just, you can ruin them by overpowering them and all those flavours all work together beautifully. Except what the challenge was about was using the canister. She's been found out a little bit there. She hasn't got that quite right. Hi, Jim. Hi. Tell us about your dish, please. So beef, I fill it with smoked mushroom puree, celeriac, broccoli, butter poached mushrooms and a red wine reduction. I saw you smoked the puree. Yes, I did, yeah. How did that go? Did you think you nailed it? Um, yeah, I think so. It's about the right intensity that I was after. A you know, noticeable smoky flavour, but not overpowering. All right, Gemma. Thank you. We'll try Thanks. it. I'm looking at this dish and one of the main things I really don't like is, is broccoli, just sort of plonked on there. What do you think, Al? Yeah, I totally agree. It's just followed Richard's dish, which was plated in a modern way and it just looks so appetising. But we all know that when we usually put something that Jim has cooked in our mouths, we get this explosion of flavour. And I'm expecting no less from this. Do you like the big piece of broccoli there, <laughs> Marco? Thank you. Once again, she's let the flavours on the plate do the talking. Beautiful, beautiful smoked mushroom puree. It's definitely the star of the show. I think it's a fantastic dish. It tastes delicious, but it just looks clunky. If she gets the presentation right, it's going to be a 10 out of 10 for a dish like this. Hey, Lily. Hello, Josh. Were you happy to get the foam canister? I don't think the other two people that got it were too excited about it. I'm feeling lucky today. You're feeling lucky. Voila. That's oh. pretty good, actually. So what's your dish? Banana and maple mousse, coconut sponge cake, lemongrass meringues. That's a caramel sauce to complement the banana mousse. The little spirals, you just threw them in there for good measure? I think it adds sweetness, add a bit of crunch to the dish. You just get out there and away you go, you know, make these beautiful little spirals. That means something to me because they show yes. understanding of ingredients and an amazing technique. I'm told to step up. Step up. <laughs> you are stepping up. <laughs> Thanks, Lily. OK. Thanks, well done, Thank Lily. you. Oh, look at the texture. She's got it right. I love food that makes you smile. The star of the show is this banana and maple mousse. It is absolutely gorgeous. She's nailed the fact that that's the hero of the dish. Then she's brought together all this other cleverness to the plate that actually makes that mousse shine. How much stuff can she cram into an hour? She's like Wonder Woman. Why are we surprised? This is quite a technical challenge about using a technical piece of equipment. Of course she's going to nail it. My God. Once again, you have all done a heck of a great job in the kitchen today. The great thing about an invention test is exactly that. You get to be inventive. And you have. But nine does not fit into eight. 
for whoever will fare well today. Your food is not at fault. It's just that the people around you are cooking their socks off. And then there were two. Hayley's safe, and it's now just Sarah and I. My little sister's growing next to me, and that's always hard to watch. Tim, if your foam had worked, it could have been the best dish you'd given us. But... You've done enough, and you're through. Thank you. Sorry. I'm shocked. There's no real joy in that moment of being safe, because I know what that means. And that's hard. Sarah, sorry, but your dish just missed. When you point a blowtorch at a crumb, it just becomes a burnt crumb. Yeah. Sarah, we're so going to miss you. And I know they'll miss you in the MasterChef house. But it's time to leave the MasterChef kitchen. It's OK. I just want to say thank you for everything. I've had, like, the best time. It I love you guys. I love you too, sis. You've been amazing, Sarah. Absolutely amazing. Sarah, you're the youngest of our crew, and it takes so much guts to get up here and what you have done. It's unbelievable. Well done, Sarah. Go home with your head held high, eh? Don't stop cooking. I won't. Thank you guys so much. It's just really gutting. It sucks to go home on something that you're not that happy with. <sighs> I just wanted to get further. Really sad. Yeah, I got on really well with Sarah. But she's a beautiful person. But she's got a lot of passion and she'll go a long way. I think she'll do really, really well if she just keeps going. All I want to do is cook, and I am only 19, so it is the perfect time to follow that. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do.